Hello. Um, ASC South rankings. <laughs> done ASC North. Uh, I've done ASC East. Now we're gonna do ASC South. Um, already didn't start, but just whatever games from already done. I found these. Uh, currently the Texans are 02, but for the sake of conveniency, they're 0 0. Oh, yeah, it's your Joe. Um, yes, yeah, so let's keep going. Um, with the Texans, they're not really showing much promise. Their defense was terrible last year, their offense was terrible last year. Uh, it was really bad last year. Like, they didn't force turnovers, they didn't cover, like, they were bottom 10 uh, uh, defense. And I don't know exactly where they were on the offense, but it's not that good. Uh, Davis Mills, while promising last year, there's only so much he can do. Um, there's only so much he can do because the problem with like Davis Mills is there's not there's promise there really is, um, but he's working with an offense that's really bad. He's working with a defense that is really bad, and the defense might honestly have gotten worse. Uh, well, okay, they, they didn't get worse. Like, looking at their roster, they added Derek Singletary. They, uh, they drafted Jalen Pitia, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but out of, uh, what was it? It was, uh, Bay, I can take a quick one. It was a Baylor. It was Baylor. They added him out of Baylor. Uh, very good promise. Uh, they have a very bad safety duo, so I would not be surprised uh, if he gets the starting job. Um, just because your cornerback room is also not that good. Uh, Desmond King probably go to right cornerback just because Steven Nelson was pretty ass last year uh, Desmond King led the team in interceptions with three yeah he had three and he led the team he was tied with someone else uh, I don't know who the other guy was but that dude's not even on the roster anymore so here we are huh okay so like it's just Houston had like the worst offense last year, right? And I will say that they added like some pretty notable pieces. Uh, they got Damian Pierce in the draft. They added Kenyon Green. They got Laramie Tunsil. Uh, Kenyon Green is probably uh, no, he's not even probably. He's definitely the starter immediately. Uh, Laramie Tunsil obviously also the starter there. So this online line is gonna be better. Uh, they added John Mechie out of Alabama there. To the receiving core. Uh, they already had Brandon Cooks. So. But. Ultimately Damian Pierce can only do so much. Out of this pretty shitty running back room. Marlon back. Rex Burkhead. This dude had like what 100 yards. 200. 100. And Rex Burkhead. Yeah 427. Like. Uh, in terms of rushing offense, they were probably the worst, especially with an immobile quarterback. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing really to be... Like, there's no promise here. Like, that's the thing. Is that you don't have a good run game. You don't have a really a good pass game. It's going to be better, though. I think their passing game might actually be, like, decently a threat, given that their whole line got better. Uh, Davis Mills could be in his second year. Uh, whether he's going to be good, he was good last year. Maybe he's going to be doing it again. Um, they added more talent to the receiving room. So their offense, passing-wise, might not be that bad. But it's probably going to be one-dimensional. They have a defensive head coach that hasn't head coached since, like, what, 2015 with the Bucks. I It's not going to go well. I had the stat, offensive stats pulled up from earlier. I was looking at him. Uh, and their schedule is not free. They're playing in a division where the Jags are improving and the Titans and Colts are simply just significantly better. Um, 
I don't know that they take a game in this division. Uh, I think this is the first time I'm going to have them going 0-6, more than likely. I haven't looked yet, but probably. Unless the Colts have locked up their playoff spot this week, then they probably can do it. But other than that, I don't know yet. I'll have to figure out if the Colts lock up the position. Because if they've already led the division, you know, I don't know if the Colts are competing for the top seed. Probably not, unless our schedule is easy. I haven't looked at the schedule, though. And I don't think it's that easy. They're not, like, the best team in this conference by far. They're, like, the fourth, fifth, sixth best team. Maybe. But either way. Um, they start with the Colts. I, I don't know why the Colts would lose this game. Uh, they're a terrible pass defense and a pair of terrible run defense. I mean, there's nothing promising here. Like, there's really not. Um, I, I don't... I don't know how they stop. What's it called? Like the Texans were top ten in pass defense last year, somehow in terms of yards. Um, but I don't think they replicate. Or they were bottom ten. Sorry, I don't know why I said top ten. Um, they were bottom ten in pass defense last year. Their run defense was no better. It was probably worse. Okay, yeah, that was bottom two. Their defense is terrible. It didn't get much better. Their offense was bad. It's not going to work. This team's not going to win many games. Uh, while the pieces they got in the draft are good, they're not good enough, in, to put it simple. Like, it's not... For now, it's not enough. Uh, Derek Singletary is going to be good. It's going to help the quarterback room. And maybe Derek Sin Singletary, Des Desmond King... Are good. Maybe Steven Nelson does better. Maybe the safety duo is better. But as of right now, if they get popped by the Colts week one, there's no, no reason Matt Ryan cannot kill this defense. Uh, they're going to get killed by the Broncos. Um, Justin Fields is probably going to ball out here. Maybe Davis Mills also balls out. But like, it's like. I think these are a battle of two very bad teams that are probably both fighting for their first win. Um, and I do think I would trust Justin Fields with a okay receiving room and a good run game rather than like, like quarterback situation, better. Receiving room, probably not better. I would trust Brandon Cooks and friends over uh, Darnell Mooney and friends. Run game's 100% better. O-line. Did the Bears even add anyone to their O-line? I don't know that the Bears added, like, anyone. I don't... They didn't draft an O-lineman, did they? I don't remember. Yeah. It's, like, basically the same. Because they went round one, um... Who was it? Did they have a round one pick? I don't remember. Did they not? Cause the did they not because of the uh, Khalil Mack deal? Is that why they didn't have a round one? Oh no, that was from Justin Fields the year before. Yeah. Uh. Uh, the Bears are bad. But start with the Texans, and though I think I would take Davis Mills and the the quarterback play that might be a little bit decent over Justin Fields. Like Justin Fields is probably gonna kill this defense. Not necessarily, it's not gonna kill this defense, but it's gonna do well. Well, we can be gone. Let's go either way. These two terrible teams. Um. Um, I'm thinking because I think that the run game might be a lot for the Texans to deal with given that their run defense is you know second worst and their defense as a whole was terrible adding Derek Singletary only helps so much there's a death chart like Eric Singletary is gonna have to do a lot. And
then I don't think he can do much. Especially, like, they get torched. I think we're constantly getting torched. And the Bears, who they played in the first two weeks. Packers, San Fran. <laughs> that is uh, unfortunate for them. They're going to be 0-2. Both these teams are going to be 0-2. Um, they're going to be fighting for their first win. I think that... Who's the Bears head coach now? I know Lovey. I think Lovey Smith could be interesting. I mean, the defense was bad last year. And wasn't he the defensive coordinator last year? I don't know who the new Bears coach is. Uh, I'm going to be honest, Chief. I don't know who this is. Defensive coordinator for the Colts before. Interesting. So maybe the defense is slightly better, but uh, the Colts defense is pretty good. It was top 10 last year, which we'll get into that. But I, I think the Texans can probably pull out the win here just because I think I don't know that the Bears can really force turnovers like last year. Though I don't know that the I don't know that the Texans can either, though. Like. I don't know that the Texans can either. Like, they were both bad last year, but the Texans... <sighs> hmm. The Bears were just too bad at forcing turnovers last year. I'm going to go with the Texans. They, I don't think the Bears added anyone to that quarterback room. While, uh, I think the Texans were like top 10 in interceptions. Actually, just because they had, like, one pick from, like, everybody. <laughs> one pick from everyone. No one was consistent, but everyone had a pick. So, it worked out. But, in general, the defense is not going to be much better, but this is where I think uh, the defense can force one turnover and it costs the Bears a game. Next week versus the Chargers. Uh, great team versus terrible team. Uh, it's really all I got is it's like the same thing with these. It's just I don't they don't have the ability to like I don't think Davis Mills and Brandon Cook. Okay, honestly, Davis Mills and Brandon Cook should probably keep up potentially, but versus a good quarterback room with the Broncos, it's just good defense. Period. A bad run game. You can't rely on the run game if uh, they're having a bad uh, offensive game pass wise. You can't rely on anything here. You can't rely on literally anything. Here, you are not passing versus Derwin James and J.C. Jackson. Um, uh, You're not going to run versus Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa in a terrible run game. While uh, Justin Herbert will throw for 4,000 yards versus you. That's all I got to say. Um, Jacksonville Texans. It's at Jacksonville. Um... And the Jags, I think, are that team that's, like, the most incredibly mid-team. already had their depth chart pulled up. Uh, bad quarterback play, but they added it to, like, the middle defense, you know. They added to draft to Devin Lloyd and Trayvon Walker. Is Trayvon Walker the pick? Maybe not, but who cares? Uh, I think the O-line got better, and the Texas pass rush was not good last year. Uh, so, and the Jacksonville Jaguars might actually have... I was going to say they might have like an okay pass rush, but probably not. Their linebacker play is probably going to be very good, though, from Josh Allen, Devin Lloyd, and Trayvon Walker. Very good linebacker play, but you still have bad corners. You still have bad safety duo. Like, I, I don't see this, this going well for the Jags, but they're still just playing the Texans, who are even worse team. Uh, I think... I think uh, Lawrence is probably going to have a baller game here, especially um, especially just because I, while this Jags defense is going to be not great, uh, he actually has pieces to throw to now. So even if the Texans can manage to score like 25 points, I think that uh, Lawrence can match that quite easily. And I think I would trust Lawrence over Davis Mills here. Just because Lawrence is, you know, has more intangibles. He has more, you know, 
at face value, he's he should be better. <laughs> uh, more mobile, better arm, just better arm talent, period, in every way, shape, and form. There's no reason the Jags cannot win this game. At home, too. But Coming off a of bye week versus the Raiders, I... I <laughs> I don't know why they would lose this or win game this game. Maybe, maybe the Texans O line can really thrive here and not let the Raiders pass rush get to him. But he's they're gonna have to beat. Uh, problem is they're only good on the right left side. They're only good on the left side with Laramie Dunsell and Kenyon Green. This right side with Titus Howard and AJ Kane can. Yeah, they got they're gonna have to deal with Chandler Jones and Max Crosby on one side each, and I because I imagine that they play them right. Chandler Jones is not is he an interior defender? Well, let me check. I might want to be saying crap, but to play on opposite sides, is he not an edge rusher? Yeah, he's an edge defensive end. Yeah, they're on opposite sides. That's what I thought. Uh, they can't deal with both. Because <laughs> while one of them might get locked up, the other won't. Um, and that's if they can even lock, you know, one of them up. Which they probably will, just because the left side's got to be good. Like, um, but I think that maybe the Raiders pass rush actually prospers here. But it was very bad last year outside of Crosby. Um, they don't really have good quarterback play. Or safety play at all, really. But, cause especially because they lost Casey Hayward. Um, they didn't really get anyone either. I don't know. I, I think the Raiders' defense is pretty bad. Uh, in terms of last year, uh, I'm not sure how bad they were. Like, if they were actually that bad. But I'm pretty sure they were very bad. Okay, they were not good. I know that. But I don't know how actually bad they were, you know? Like, just because decent, like, they're, I don't know how bad their run demons really could be. Like, I think they were probably, and with Casey Hayward playing pretty well last year, I think. I don't think, they just don't have the talent on defense. The problems at Raiders. Therefore, oh, I thought I saw Q on Derek Carr. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, they just don't really have good cornerback play, no safety play, no linebacker play, and they don't, their line's the only decent thing about them. But that's just because Crosby and Chandler Jones. Like, like this defense won't be good, and Davis Mills could probably put up a decent, have a decent game again. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Um. Just because I think they have n the the Raiders don't or not the Raiders the Texans have no one to cover anybody. Like I have no idea. Maybe good linebacker play. I think their linebacker is gonna have to play a lot more coverage this game. And I don't know the defensive system of the Texans, so I don't know if they have the ability to do that. Um. I don't know how good any of their linebackers are at covering. So, but they're going to have to pray that they're good this game. And just stop Renfro and Waller and pray that um, Booth can lock up Tay. And you're going to have to pray for that. Even if you allow like 20 points, 20, 30 points even, <laughs> uh, you got to pray that Davis Mills could put up more. And I don't think they could do that. I think the Raiders should easily have this game. And it probably will not be close. But. Versus the Texans. Bad run defense. Versus Derrick Henry. I, I don't think I have to go in depth with this. Terrible run defense. Versus Derrick Henry. He's going to run for 200 yards. And destroy them. Um, they got destroyed last year. It was not close if I recall correctly. Okay, the Texans won once, but I'm talking about... Okay, it was closed both times, ironically enough. I was just saying crap. But... Oh, this was with Watson. 
Wait, that was January. See? Okay, okay. Where's the other one time? Cause they won this time. That was Tyrod Taylor. And, oh, it's because freaky... <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a goat. Tannehill throwing four picks versus the Texans. What a goat. Uh, they played twice. Why does it only show me once ever? Oh, did they play in 2022? Probably. And the Titans did win that one, but it was close, so... I guess I should not say. How was it close? Oh, Davis was balled out. Oh, this is before they had Henry, though. Like, I think... Okay. Okay. With Henry... Would this game be close? Tannehill did throw four interceptions this game. Another one he threw for four picks, so... Here we are. Um... The games were close last year, both of them, but I imagine the other one. Oh, okay, now the other one would be without Henry as well, right? Yeah, it would be also without Henry. Um, this game they played twice last year and without Henry, and the games were close. They won the first, second one. They got popped the first time. Oh, they didn't get popped. They lost by nine, but it's a two-score game, so. Eh. Um. Like, as long as they don't let Davis Mills throw for 300 yards again, I kind of just assumed that, I forgot they didn't have Henry last year for some of the year, but, or most of the year even. Um, as long as they don't let Davis Mills throw for 300 again, um, and as long as you still have, uh, Henry at this point, I, I don't see why the Titans can't win the game. Uh, there's no reason they shouldn't be able to. Strictly because, um... Sorry, I had to... My fold for a second. Um... Tannehill, while his passing, perhaps, got worse, um... It's not like the, um, what's it called? Titans secondary is bad, Kevin Byard. Bayard is pretty good. Uh, I don't know their other safety. Uh, Hooker. Right? I believe so. But I don't know how good he was. I know I know Bayard, Kevin was very good. Uh, I know Farley is one of their corners. I have no idea who the other guy is. Uh, wasn't Farley okay? I don't remember, but... I could be very wrong on that. I'll just look. Not a big deal. Freak. I don't want to look at BFF. I'm not looking at BFF. Is he injured? Looks like he was injured. Because someone said, was he injured? He played three games. Wow. Makes a lot of sense. Did they lose someone? I don't know who the other person was, so... I guess I can literally just look. Uh, I can actually just look. It's only one to. I don't like looking. I feel like I don't, it makes me feel like I don't know my stuff. Christian Fulton. I had a lot of passes deflected. Or defended, I'm assuming. But, same thing. We got two picks, but... But okay. Just, I, I think as long as the defense doesn't allow some crazy number of, of what's it called? Freak. Um, as long as the Titans don't allow some crazy amount of yards from Davis Mills, I think they'll genuinely be okay. Um,. Derrick Henry, as long as he's healthy at this point, which I don't know why he wouldn't be, as long as he's healthy, then he will run over, or run all over this team for 200 yards, <laughs> and we'll blow them out. Like, how was a 2020? Well, no, 2020 was the shot. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. How did these games go? They won in overtime. What about the other one? Let 
that was this one where they also won. I mean, yeah, yeah, look at that. Derrick Henry, 250 yards. This one, how much was this? 212 yards. And this was kept, they, like, the only reason this was competitive was because Deshaun. So, without Deshaun, I, I don't know how they keep this game competitive. Like, last year, Derrick Henry would have ran for another 200 yards each time versus them. So, I think if that happens last year, then this game's a blowout. And I imagine that's what's going to happen this year, is this game's a blowout. Um, Eagles-Texans. I don't know why the Eagles wouldn't win this game, to be honest. I'll just go ahead and say I think the Eagles win. I don't know why the Eagles could not win this game and wouldn't win this game. Um, there's nothing. There, I don't think there's a one. There's one thing that the Texans do better. The Eagles run game as a whole. It had the best rushing offense last year. And uh, it's definitely in contention for doing it again. Uh, if Lamar stays healthy, it's probably the Ravens. But if I have the second best rushing offense, play J.K. Dobbins and crap. But either way, um, so obviously with a very bad, you know, run defense, with a very bad passing defense, this is the year where Jalen hurts. Has that elite wide receiver one in a probably top five wide receiver two, if not top five, top ten wide receiver two for sure. Um, and their three is I don't know who the three is, but either way, the receiving room's better, the quarterback's better, the running game's better, the O line is better. Ah, <laughs> the defense is better, like everywhere. Except like linebacker and the uh, Eagles linebacker plays decent, good. Uh, so there's no reason the Eagles can't win this game and won't win this game. Uh, Giants Texans. Um, Giants are terrible, but the Texans are also terrible. It's probably a game. This is probably a game where Saquon looks elite, uh, but it's because he's facing trash. Like, to put it simple, he's just facing kind of garbage. Um, the Giants' pass rush was it that bad last year. I don't know. I didn't keep up with the freaking Giants last year. <laughs> I don't think even Giants fans kept up with the Giants last year because it was ugly. Um, their offense is terrible. Like, I don't know. Like, both quarterbacks might look good here, but it's hard to make Daniel Jones look good. Like, this is a game where I think the Texans can actually maybe force a turnover. Uh, Booth looks elite, and the Texans get their second win of the season. Good job. Um, versus Washington versus Washington. Well, okay. Now, I, I, this is my pig. I just don't know if I described it enough or went into it enough, but I think I did. I, I think the Texans just are better at quarterback, maybe. Maybe. I just don't trust Daniel Jones to win them games. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know where Daniel Jones could really win games. I'm looking at the teams, and I really don't see a team that Daniel Jones could beat. But we shall see. Washington, um, Houston, I think this is a game where, uh, what's his name, Wentz is going to look elite. It's going to be one of those games where Carson Wentz doesn't actually make many bad decisions because the, 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 the Texans' t pass rush is terrible. Um, and no one there's, I mean, okay, we're going to get McLaurin and Booth, which could be cool, but McLaurin should win that pretty easily. And even then, I think, well, okay, I was going to say the Washington O-line's better and the defense is better. The defense is for sure better, especially if it actually gets better this year. Last year, it was pretty bad, but that's when Chase Young was gone. So, let's see what happens with the defense when Chase Young's back. Um, um, 
I think Wentz is probably, while he's pretty inconsistent and makes a lot of bad decisions, I don't know that the Texans can force him to make bad decisions. And I think that the, uh, what's his cool Commanders, that's what their team name is. I just know when they're, I know, I just want to look at the pass rush. Chase Young, Allen, Sweat. Yeah, I thought this guy was okay. I mean, when I say okay, it's like a hard okay. And I don't really like looking at stats. I just, I know Chase Young. I don't have to look at him. Like, nine sacks. And I don't really like looking just at stats because I feel like stats don't tell you the full game, and they don't. And watching this Commander's defense last year without Chase Young was ugly, but so I kind of just have to base it off of stats. <laughs> like, Bobby McCain. <laughs> okay, anyway, I keep getting distracted, but... I think the Commander's O-line is not very good. I think the, the defense as a whole is probably... It was good the year before last... And last year they didn't have Chase Young, but I don't know how good that defense is going to be this year. It was probably going to be decent, and I don't know if you can really force Davis Mills to make play bad, but I think that Carson Wentz, when he doesn't have to make bad decisions, when he's not forced to make bad decisions, I I, I think he's fine. Um, Dolphins, Texans, I think the Dolphins are better everywhere. They got no one to guard Tyreek. And Gesicki and Waddle. And I think Mike Vanelli will carve this team alive. Uh nobody. There's no one to guard anyone, and I don't I don't think Brandon Cooks alone can carry this team. They got Nico Collins too, they got uh Mechie, but I, I think I think the Dolphins have the edge. It might be close. Might be a sleeper close game, but it's Dolphins at home too. Like, I don't think they drop this game. But the Dolphins did have a couple bad losses, but either way, I don't see it happening again. Um, Browns. I already talked about this one. I think Deshaun's gonna be back for sure for this game. Um. I think even if he wasn't, I think Jacoby Brissett, assuming that's the quarterback, could still beat them, honestly. Um, defense, you're not going to guard Ward and Newsome. Or you're not going to be able to score versus those with your guys, more than likely, not consistently. Uh, even the run defense, you're going to get like 50 yards rushing total in that game, probably. You're not running the ball. You're going to have to pass the ball. It's going to get repetitive. And the Browns could do whatever the freak they want. Bad rush defense versus Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Yeah, have fun. The Browns are going to blow them out. Even if they don't have Deshaun, really. Um, Cowboys, Texans. I, I don't think I have to. Well, okay, I should probably describe this because some people don't think they're good. Um, Cowboys are just... The old line is not as bad as people are acting like. They only lost. I mean, Lyle Collins is a big loss. It hurts a lot, but the old line's still going to be good. It's still going to be fine. They had the top ranked PFF wise. It's if that's what you, that's if you like PFF, and no one does. So, but they still had a very good old line, even if you don't like PFF. Uh, and I don't. So here we are. <laughs> uh, they had they were really in like everywhere except like one position. And that was like center. Is our center good? I don't think I don't know who was there. It's like I know one position they were like, eh, but yeah, they're good there. They're good there. Yeah, it was just oh, they have very similar names: Tyrone Smith and Tyler Smith. And they have another Tyler. What is this? <laughs> nah, but uh, losing Lyle Collins. I don't know who this guy is. But maybe he's solid. I'm surprised he didn't draft. Uh, all right, guy to replace him. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, Diggs could probably put up three picks here if he really wanted to, and like, 
I don't know if they get locked up, but even so, they can just run the ball. Even if uh, CD and Gallup are getting locked up. Uh, they're just better everywhere. Better quarterback, better receivers. Well, maybe not better receivers. No, better receivers. As a whole. Probably. Uh, better run game. Better O-line. Better tight end. Better, better, better. Everything is better. <laughs> There's no reason they lose this game. Chiefs. Texans, I'm not going to describe this game. It's going to be destruction. Uh, they might just... It's going to be ugly. I'm just putting up 60 points and 5,000 yards in this one game. Seven touchdowns. It's going to be a blowout. Um, Davis Mills could probably manage like 20 points here. 20, 25, 30 points here. But I, I don't think... I, I don't think that's enough. I think uh, Mahomes is going to put up like 50, unironically. Um, Texans, Titans, uh, it's the same thing as last time. They're just going to run all over them, and there's not much the Texans can do about it. Like, There's no reason Derrick Henry should not go for 200 yards unless he's just actually bad this year. And he could be. You never know. But unless Derrick Henry is just trash this year, there's no reason Derrick Henry cannot carry this team, literally to beating the Texans in convincing manner. It should be the same thing as last time. Jags, Texans. I'll take the Texans here just because I don't think they go... Like, they've not won many games at this point, right? So, I think they could finally pull out another win versus the Jags. They're not a very talented team, but, you know, okay, I, I, don't, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if I believe that the Jags can top uh i don't know that i don't believe the texans can top the jags because i think the the jags are just probably going to be decently consistent at being mid this season but i think being mid versus a bad team is perfectly fine because i think you'll be okay uh, like it's the same thing as last time just more consistent quarterback play you have consistent receivers. You obviously got Brandon Cooks, who's very good on the Texans. But other than that, not really too much talent there. Um, yeah, it's just not. And the run game, too, with Etienne and Robinson. I, I don't think the Texans can really compete. Um, and the Colts, Texans... I'll have to wait because I don't know if they'll have this division locked up or not. I think if they have the division locked up, um, then it'll be fine. And they will just... And then they'll rest their starters. But other than that, I don't see the Jags winning this game. Or the Texans winning this game. Uh, there's no reason they will. If they're resting starters, then fine. But other than that, the Texans go 2-15. and That team has next to no talent. Uh, they're rebuilding, and it's going to take a minute. <laughs> uh, I'll do Jags next, because I think this is the second worst team. Uh, they're currently 3-1, and one, so uh, have good job, I guess. Week 1 versus Washington. Um, I think we have a Week 1 upset. I think. I think we have a Week 1 upset versus... Because I think this will be a considered upset. I think... Uh, Trevor Lawrence can probably beat them. I think the Jags are not very good, but I think upsets happen. And normally, you know, obviously, I didn't really pick the Jets upsetting. Well, no, I did pick the Jets upsetting people. <laughs> That's where their wins came from. It's from upsetting the Miami. Came from upsetting the other team. No, not Seahawks. It wasn't really an upset. They just came from upsetting Miami once. This, I really didn't pick any upsets. I, I don't see where they would upset anybody. They suck. They're terrible, and the only upset, upsettable games is, like, beating the Jags twice. Like, the only way this team is, like, okay is if it beats the Colts once, beats the Jags twice, beats Washington, and I, I really don't know. This team would not compete this year, okay? But I think... um a lot of the Jags' defense maybe won't be that good. Uh, I should be serviceable. That's thunder. Um, but 
I, I don't think Washington's a very good team, but I also don't think they're a bad team. I think they could maybe sneak in in the playoffs, honestly. They may be good. I don't think so, but they could. It really depends if they win this game. Because <laughs> every game with Washington is going to be important. They really need to win versus the bad teams. Um, I think that the pressure might get to uh, Wentz. He's, he couldn't deal with the pressure behind a Colts O-line. I don't know if he can versus Washington. With Washington's O-line. Uh, especially because Washington lost Sheriff. Uh, the... Uh, they actually went to Jacksonville, right? Sheriff's at Jacksonville now. No, yeah, yeah, he's right there. Yeah, um. It should be decently close. But I think all the Jags have to do is get the pressure. And I don't know how much pressure Washington can generate. A, and this is going to be week one, Chase Young. Don't know if he's going to come back a thousand percent. They could probably actually win this game, honestly. They probably can. Um, just because... Just because I don't know... Like, I think any time uh, Wentz is made to make a decision, it's bad. And they do have Allen. They do have good linebacker play as a whole. Like, So, you force Wentz to make one or two bad decisions. Yikes. And Washington really doesn't have a good secondary either, so Lawrence could probably thrive with uh, Christian Kirk and Marvin Jones. So I'll go ahead and take the Jacksonville here uh, versus the Colts. I I don't want to pick Jacksonville, but when's the last time the Colts beat the Jags at home? It's been a long time. 2014. Um. So. Granted, this is probably the best quarterback they've had. Colts have had since luck. Um. Like, you got Phillip Rivers into, who they have? No, that was 2020, so no. Last year, uh, Carson Wentz, like, um, who was, who was after Luck? Yeah, that's what I thought. Brissett, not good. This dude. I mean, look at the quarterback play since. Like, they're not really supposed to beat necessarily many people. I mean, it's called cooking inconsistency. But I think Matt Ryan, like, like even last year, like, the Jags could get two if they... But they haven't beaten him at home since 2014. But why wouldn't Matt Ryan be able to do it? Especially with Alec Pierce, Michael Pittman, a good old line, a good defense. It's a curse type thing, you know? It's not like... I'm not sure. They haven't beaten him at Jacksonville since 2014. It is 2022. It's been eight years. You know what? I'll take Jacksonville just because that. I, it's not that I think they're the better team, and I think the Colts will probably destroy me the next one. But that's kind of what happens. Yeah, I mean, they haven't done it since 2014. I'll pick them again. Jags are five and one right now. Uh, yeah, don't worry, they're about to tank. <laughs> uh, versus the Chargers at home, there's no way the Col uh, the Jags are not going three zero. Uh, the Chargers are an elite team. There's no reason that Jacksonville wins this game. Uh, I think Trevor Lawrence gets pushed in check after the first two weeks. 
Um, I think that uh, Etienne and Robinson struggle versus Cleo Mack and Joey Bosa. I think the O line shows a little bit of problem here. I think this game is probably a blowout uh, in return for these first two games. Uh, Eagles Jags. It's Eagles at home too, which I don't really care about it being at home. Just, just think. There we go. Uh, Eagles run game is probably too much for the Jags to actually handle. Um, and even if they can handle it, they got to deal with him passing as well. And I don't know if they really have any, anyone that can guard Brown. Well, hold on. What did the Titans? Let's see if they guarded him. Oh, no. Uh, I guess he just doesn't exist, huh? Okay, well, somehow they guarded him. But it's just Tannehill, dude. Tannehill freaking sucks. <laughs> either way, they won both games. Um, but either way. Actually, so apparently, A.J. Brown is kind of getting locked up versus the Jags. But I don't know if he could do it with a better quarterback like Hurts. Like, I don't know how much better Hurts is than Tannehill. If he's honestly, well, he's probably better. But Hurts is just going to get better this year. And Tannehill is, like, kind of fighting for a starting job right now. So, uh, but either way, um, I don't see any reason that Jacksonville should beat the Eagles. Uh, the only thing I see is, I don't know. Uh, better quarterback play. Better receivers, maybe. Yeah, better receiving game. Better tight end. Better roll line. Better defense. I mean, they're just kind of better everywhere. And the better, better, better team does not always win, but most of the time it does. Um, I already talked about that game. But, I guess some people might skip. I should probably talk about it. All. I, I talked about this game. But I think I would trust Lawrence more than uh, Davis Mills. That's what I came to the conclusion. Uh, in the second game, they play. Uh, they're not sweeping the Colts, especially at Colts. The Colts are the better team. They just you know can't beat them at home. So you know I'll take them. Uh, they're gonna get probably destroyed in this game. Like absolute destruction. It's gonna look bad. They're gonna look terrible, and it's not gonna be pretty. Um. I don't know why they would sweep the Colts. That, that's it. I just don't know why how they would sweep the Colts. And they play the Giants. I think the Giants are horrible everywhere, for the most part. They're not horrible everywhere. They're not horrible everywhere, right? They might be horrible everywhere. Bad quarterback. Potentially bad running back. The wide receiver's kind of kind of promising, maybe. You know, uh bad O line. Uh bad tight end. Uh defense as a whole, pretty bad. Especially your secondary looks ugly. Your your uh your first line, like with Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, Gavon Thibodeau, like they 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 might be okay. You know, your front guys should be fine, honestly. But, oh dang, what do you get suspended for? I don't care. Um, I think they're just better, like, pretty much everywhere, genuinely. Um, I, I don't know why Jacksonville cannot win that game. Daniel Jones sucks, and I would take Trevor Lawrence any day of the week if it comes a high-scoring game, which I don't know if Daniel Jones knows how to score points. I really don't like Daniel Jones. He's terrible. <laughs> Granted, he was put in a bad position, but still, some things you just can't excuse. You can't excuse seeing Ghost 
Um, Broncos are just a better team here. Pretty much better everywhere. Uh, more consistent. The Broncos are going to be consistent. And I think the Jags are probably going to be a little bit inconsistent. Um, I think it's going to be tough for the Jaguars to win. Like, especially when you have to play against uh, Sertan. And it's generally a pretty decent secondary, I think. I don't know who the cornerback two is, actually. I don't care about that. Uh, uh, whatever, same thing. <laughs> Loaded offense. Ronald Darby. I don't know who that is. He had a zero interceptions. If that means anything. Uh... The defense was great last year. The defense is going to be great this year. You're going to have to manage playing against a great defense and in a loaded offense. You're going to have to score a lot of points versus a defense that's not going to let you score a lot of points. That's the biggest problem here. They're not going to win. Uh, Raiders, you're going to have to match like 50 points here. <laughs> I think uh, Derek Carr with Tay, Renfro, and Waller is going to score a million bajillion points versus the Jaguars. There is no one that can guard anybody. Um, but, but the Raiders also have a very bad defense, but I don't think that's going to save them. The Jaguars, I think they're going to get absolutely destroyed. Um, well, maybe not destroyed, but it might be close. It might be like, you know, 20 to 30, maybe, or like 25, 30 to 40 or some crap like that. I don't know. The Raiders know how to put up points and I don't know. If the, the, I don't know if Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk can match Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. I don't think they can match that. Chiefs, it's kind of the exact same thing with the Raiders. And really just the same thing as the Raiders. Uh, I would take Mahomes, Juju over Trevor Lawrence, Christian Kirk any day of the week. Um, I don't know how the Jags win this game, genuinely. Um... Yeah, okay, the Jags honestly could win this game if Trevor Lawrence turns up being like elite next year. They really could. I think if there's any sleeper team, it would be like if there's any Bengals from last year, it's gonna be the Jaguars. It's the only team. The bad teams are still just bad. I think it's either these or the Lions. Only two. But the Lions are not that talented. While, you know, the Bron the Jaguars might be. If Evan Ingram can come back, be decent. I didn't really talk about that, but, like, Evan Ingram being there, too, like, Evan Ingram wasn't the Pro Bowl two years ago. Maybe he should not have been, but that's not the point here. He was still a Pro Bowler. He was still good. You don't make the Pro Bowl mean trash most of the time. Like, if this, uh, this offense just, I think, there's no one to guard Kelsey. There's no one to guard Juju. There's no one to guard Hardman. Uh, then you gotta deal with, um... The rookie, uh, they drafted uh, the second round rookie. Uh, I forgot his name. It's not Christian Watson. That's the Packers guy. It's the other guy. Uh, I don't know who it is. Who is it? Not Scantling, but also him. No one's going to guard him either. It's Sky Moore. Sky Moore. And Justin Ross. Like, this receiving group is actually pretty loaded. <laughs> it's deep. Uh, I don't know if it's... It's not very top-heavy, but it's still deep, nonetheless. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how Trevor and Christian Kirk and Evan Ingram match this offense. They, I just don't see it. Then I already have them losing to the Ravens. Um, I think it's just another situation of who you trust more, and I'm not going to trust. Like, bad run defense, and you're facing probably the strongest running offense in the league. And if not the best, it's the second best. Um, if they don't have the best, then they're the second best behind the Eagles. Uh, I don't know. And, like, Bateman might look like elite in this game. Mark Andrews, I don't know who you're going to guard with. I just think an inconsistent secondary is going to really hurt him, specifically in this game. And even if your secondary is good, you're going to pray that your linebackers work out. And if they don't play elite, then uh, you're probably screwed. 
If they do, then uh, honestly, I can see the upset, but I, I don't see it on paper. Um, Lions, Jaguars. I don't know. I think the Jaguars haven't won in a while at this point. Which probably helps them. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if it's like a save for saving it though. Like, I don't think it is. Okay, so the thing is, is that the Jaguars pass rush is like mid at best. I mean, it might not be that bad, but nonetheless, they're going to have to go through a very good Lions O-line, and they're going to have to guard a pretty good receiving core, actually, with um, Chark, Amonra, St. Brown, and Williams. Um, I think it's going to be tough to guard that with a very bad secondary. Uh, and Jared Goff might look like the gold here. But, I also don't know how good Jeff Okuda is. I don't know. If Jeff Okuda is good, then I think this game's actually probably Lions favored. Um, but I think that... I think the Jaguars defense is a little bit better than the Lions defense. Like, I, hold on, I have it pulled up. Let's what I said last year. I was looking at it before. Uh... Where is it at? Seahawks at the 12th ranked defense. Interesting. In what category? In what way? Because it's... Oh, points allowed. Well, that's why every this... Anyone just look at points allowed. I know they were two bad defenses. Yeah, the Lions were 31st and the Jaguars were 28th. Which, I think the Jaguars defense got better, and I don't know that the Lions defense got much better. Let me look. I don't know that the Lions defense got much better. Oh, Aiden Hutchinson. Forgot about him, but other than that, nothing really changed. Uh, I think Aiden Hutchinson might like kill this defense, but other than that... Like, you don't go from a 31st ranked defense to even really a serviceable defense unless you add some crazy pieces. And normally that does not come from the draft, it comes from free agency. Um, so, this was without Akuda though last year, and Akuda's going to come back, but I don't know how good he is. They're going to have to hope he's good. Um,. I think this is probably a close game just because it's two pretty bad teams. Um, but, uh, I mean, this Lions offense is kind of loaded everywhere except quarterback. Good run game, good old line, good receivers. Well, the Lions, I don't think quite, or the Jaguars, I don't think they quite match that yet. I just don't think they match the Lions here. And the Lions generally, you know, keep it at least close first. They keep it close in most games. Uh, and last year they were kind of a choker, not a closer. But this year, maybe they're a closer, not, not a choker. Especially versus a bad team like the Jaguars. I think they can actually prosper versus a pretty bad defense. You saw it versus the Vikings last year. You saw it versus... Um, I don't even know who else they won versus, but Mikey specifically, they clutched it out. And if they can close it like that, which it might come down to the final drive versus this Jaguars team, just because I think it's going to be a showdown between Lawrence and Goff. That is not something like an elite showdown, but I promise you it's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, I think the Lions can probably see. I think that I would take the Lions just slightly. Just because they have the better O-line. Pr pr just primarily because the O-line, too. But, we'll see. Um, it's the same thing as before. Titans are going to run all over them, and there's not much they can do. Oh, I didn't say that. But it's the same thing with Houston. I, they're, uh, yeah, it's the same thing with Houston. 
Uh, Derrick Henry's going to run for 200 yards, and there's not anything you can do about it. Other than... Okay, but I think it's now closer. Let me take that away. I'm not going to guarantee that yet. Um, How did it go last year? Twenty twenty. Uh, I already googled this game. I remember that. But they beat him twice, and he ran for one thirty there. And I think he was already gone at this point. Yeah, he was already already gone, and they blew, shut him out. So I don't know why that changes now. To be honest. Oh well, he's not gonna throw four interceptions again. More than likely. <laughs> More than likely. Um, James Robinson ran for a freak done that game. Derrick Henry. I, I think it's going to be a similar Derrick Henry show. And I don't know that the Jaguars can quite match it. Um, actually, I just outright think they can't match it even. Um, I don't think they have the run game to match it. I don't think they have quite the passing game to match it. Especially because I think the Titans come up with like a pick here. And it's going to cost him because you really need to make no mistakes if you want to beat the Titans here. Uh, and it's going to be the same thing versus the Texans. and Or not the Texans, the Cowboys. What the heck? Uh, it's going to be the same thing versus the Ty uh, Cowboys. God. Uh, and you're going to have to face Diggs. So you're going to have to not throw any picks versus Trayvon Diggs. As a mid-quarterback with a bad O-line. But it probably a mid-O-line. I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think the receiving core from the Cowboys also is still pretty good, even though they lost Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson. I don't think they have quite the, like, they're going to be worse, but I still think they're good enough to beat the Jags. Like, you know, I, I don't see the problem there. Um, Jets, Jaguars, I don't see why they would lose. Just because I think I would trust uh, the offense a little bit more than I would trust the Jets. And I think it's really, I think the it boils down to the Jags having a run game. And while, while the Jets also do, I think it's just a slightly better run game. Uh, I think it's a slightly better quarterback. Uh, I'd say a slightly better receiving run. I think everything is slightly better. And the Jets defense is pretty bad. And the Jaguars also is, but it's going to be better. I don't know how much better... Like, all the Jets really added was Sauce, right? Who'd they add? Who all did they add? Who were the three? I know two of them. I knew Sauce and Garrett Wilson. It was Jermaine Johnson. So that's pretty good. Uh, they're adding, they added some talent, but I think it's not quite good enough. I think that... The offense is probably going to be a little bit inconsistent. I think it's going to be inconsistent here as well, just because I think... Well, the Jaguars' offense might honestly not be inconsistent. It might just be decently good in a lot of weeks. I, I think they can do well here versus the Jets. And it's the same thing versus Houston. They're going to ball out, and I don't know that I trust Davis Mills and Brandon Cooks over... I, I don't think I trust Davis Mills over Trevor Lawrence more, so I do trust Brandon Cooks. I mean, constantly is good, but nonetheless, I don't think he can quite match. I don't think Davis Mills can quite match the Jags. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, especially in his year two. I think Trevor's going to get much better. I don't know how much better Davis Mills gets. So, And this final week is going to matter. Uh, determines. I'm going to wait. Again, it's the same thing I'm doing with the Texans. It really depends if they're resting starters. If they're resting starters, then I don't see why they can't win. But if they're not resting starters, then... We'll see. I'll do uh, Titans next. Because I, th I think on face value, I think I have the Colts winning the division. Week 1 versus the Giants. Um, Derrick Henry's going to farm them. And Tanner Hill might actually look good this year, in this game. Just because, you know, it's, it's the Giants. I don't know why they would lose, to be honest. Um, make sure that's locked. I already had that in. Um, it's the Giants. They're the much better team. Uh, week two versus the Bills. I think that's going to be a tough one. And I have the Bills winning week one as well. So they're coming off beating a better team. So they can probably beat, you know, they can probably beat the Titans if they just beat the Rams, which is what I have them doing. Um, 
I just think that I don't know that I trust Tannehill and a rookie over Josh Allen and Diggs. That's what it comes down down to. And while Derrick Henry's gonna have a good game, it's not gonna be a great one. I mean, it's gonna be a great one. He's always gonna have a great game, really. But versus pretty strong Bills defense, I don't know that they can quite match it. And I think that's my only problem. Uh, week three, I did not already pick that game. I don't know why it was locked in. Um, the thing with this game, I think, is it really depends on how well Tannehill can play versus a very bad uh, Raiders defense. Um, the Raiders defense improved, but it's really only the pass rush that improved. And while the Titans O lane is not very good, I do want to acknowledge that last year versus the Titans, I believe, Chandler Jones got five sacks. It was versus... It was. I know it was, actually. I don't even have to lose it. I know it was for a fact. I remember that. <laughs> Um, Taylor Jones did get five sacks versus Tannehill, um, week one of last year. And while I don't think he replicates that, I don't think it's far-fetched to say that he comes close. And now I think he has to face an improved Raiders second, or not secondary, uh, pass rush. And I think it's going to be really hard for Taylor to play well. But I think that Derrick Henry can run all of this defense as well because there's not really anyone blocking him. There's no one stopping him. Uh, so this game is probably going to be close, but I think in crunch time, where it comes down to it, I would... And there's no one to guard. Like, I, I just don't think the uh, Texans secondary is quite good enough to stop Tay, Renfro, and Waller. I, I don't think so. This offense is not matched to do that. Um, and especially with a bad... Oh, not really a bad, but a mid-level defense. It's just not going to be good enough. It's just not quite going to be good enough. And I think the Raiders can probably seal it out. You're coming off a tough loss versus the Bills the week before. You're going to have to take another elite offense. And I don't know that Tannehill and Traylon Burks can quite match Derek Carr and Devontae Adams. Um, it's probably going to be a close game. Probably like 34-31. But I think the Raiders are good there i think they could seal it out um colts versus titans see this is the matchup we all been waiting for right um it's jonathan taylor versus um jonathan taylor versus derrick henry very cool matchup i didn't really talk about it in the other games but i just go straight to colts um Derrick Henry's gonna run. Jonathan Taylor's gonna run all over the Texans. Jonathan Taylor's probably gonna run all over the Jaguars too, but it's at home, so no one really knows. Uh, he's gonna run all over them here, like two, and this time they're gonna win because it's away. That's all I've got to say. Go back to the, the, the Titans. That is not the Titans. This is the Titans. Um, I think they can trade games with the Colts. Hold on, when do they play again? After the bye week. I think they're more favored after the bye week, too. I think it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be two close games. And I don't know that they necessarily... I don't think they have the defense to beat the Colts twice. But I think they have the offense to beat them once. You know? The Colts have got to lose games somewhere. And I think this is a very losable game. I don't know if they will lose, but I think it's a losable game. I... Uh, I think they just trade off with the Colts. Hold on. That means it's here. I think they trade off with the Colts. 1-1. Um, one, one. Well, uh, maybe not. Honestly, the Colts could sweep them, but I, I, don't think, I don't think so. I don't think so. Then they play Washington Week 5 after losing to the three-game straight. I it's First in a subpar team. Uh, I think Wentz probably makes a couple mistakes. I don't think they necessarily have their strongest pass rush to force them to make mistakes, but they can go back here to look at the defense. Yeah, the Titans were sixth last year in points allowed. What about passing yards? 
Titans were way down, way down, way down. 25th. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Second versus the run, though. Which is good for them. It's good for them. Um, so Antonio Gibson and JD McKissick is probably going to do well here. Uh, but. Wait, do bad. I meant. Um, and Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, uh, Jahan Dotson. Those guys got to probably ball out. Right? I have that look right way. Right? I'm not retarded. Uh, yards. Yeah, they had a very bad passing defense. Yeah, very bad passing defense. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm looking at it right. A little brain fart, I guess. Um. Okay. But yeah, I think uh, Washington is going to struggle to keep up with I think that yeah I think they just struggle to keep up with the Titans like the offense could be electric and I don't think they have the secondary to actually make Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel and Jahan Dotson actually you know struggle uh and Tannehill may not be great but I think he can handle versus mid secondaries by a week I don't think they're getting swept by the Colts I already talked about that um but Derrick Henry's going to run all over like, and score 300 yards and five touchdowns versus the Texans. Probably not. But he, he, he unironically scored like 200 yards and four, three touchdowns somewhere around there. Uh, Chiefs, Titans. This matchup is a matchup we've seen before. Um, and it's kind of a good one. But I don't think we've seen it since 20 a while. I'm thinking of the AFC Championship. When's the last time they played? Was it the championship game? No, they played last year and the tight Oh, the tight destroyed them. Quite interesting. Yeah, I was thinking at this game. I think. Wait, that's not the that's this is the AFC game I was talking about. This is the conference game that I think. Right. Yeah. Wait, no, that's the AFC champ. Yes. God. This thing is hard. Life's hard. Yeah, that was the wild card game. This this was. This was the championship game. I remember this game. This game was wild, though. This one, this one was wild. But, um... The Titans have uh, done well versus the Chiefs as of late. They're 4-1 in the last five. Which is interesting. Um, but I think that... Here's kind of where the Chiefs do the, the Titans in. Uh, seal it out. Just because I don't think... Hmm. This was when Mahomes was looking kind of bad. In that stretch. I remember. I remember this game. I was like, wow. Times might actually be good. See, like. I mean, that is ugly stat line. <laughs> but. Yeah, AJ Brown just went stupid. Okay, um, I think my biggest concern with this game would be how they've done recently, but I think this is going to be another Mahomes crazy season, or not necessarily crazy season, but it, it's going to be another season where he looks good again. You know, I don't think he's going to struggle necessarily. Um, he's obviously got a degraded receiving core, but I don't think that's going to hurt him. He still has, uh, Kelsey. And while this game last year was pretty ugly, pretty ugly, very ugly, um, I, I think the Chiefs can do them in more than likely just because a bad secondary versus Mahomes does not end well. <laughs> uh, it ended well last year, but I don't think it's going to, it's not going to consistently, you know, end well for you, you know, uh, and it's consistent that really matters. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to be tough. 
because Mahomes is not going to have a zero touchdown game again, and I don't know if Tannehill can match that quite yet. I think Derrick Henry can match that. Not as a passer, just as a whole. Broncos Titans. Um, this looks like a tough matchup for the Titans, actually. And the only reason it's tough is because the Broncos very good defense and a very great offense, while the Titans just have a very great offense, uh, not a great defense. Defense is not bad. It's not bad by any means. It was top ten last year, and but it was very bad versus the pass. So that's where this is going to hurt, by the way. It's going to hurt here as well. They may be good versus the run, but no one's really good versus Javante Williams. I mean, farms people. <laughs> um, now you got to deal with a pretty good run game. And I guess if the run game's not working, you go to the pass game with Rice. And who's going to guard all well, three levels? Because they play at three different levels. Tim Patrick, deep threat. Uh, Cortland Sutton, the mid-level guy. And uh, Jerry Judy, the slot guy. Uh, I think it's going to be very tough for the Titans to match that. This electric offense, uh, I don't think they can quite match it yet. Especially because they're going to have to deal with the Broncos' defense. It's going to be really tough. I, I don't think they're quite suited for it. Um, Versus the Packers. It is at home, which is notable, but I don't think it matters. I don't. Um, Packers, Titans. I think the Titans bounce back here and actually pull off the upset. You're going to have to deal with pass game, and it's consistently not ending well for them. But I think that you're not going to lose to every top team, and I think the Packers are probably... Maybe not the most prime to lose, but I don't know. I don't think uh, Rodgers is set for a bad game here, but I think that probably just consistency. Not necessarily that they're a better team. I just think you got to pick an upset somewhere, and I think this is probably it. Just the Titans being able to, they might struggle because obviously the Packers secondary is very good, so their pass game might not end well. You probably want to throw these shorter passes. They don't have to deal with the secondary very much. You have to make the linebackers pick a play. Um, so maybe they can abuse that. The pass rush got a little bit worse because Darius, the Darius Smith left the Packers. So the O line is probably going to do well here. Uh, Tannehill's going to have time in the pocket. He's going to have to throw to not necessarily your most favorable receivers. You got Robert Woods. You got Traylon Burks. You got. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think here is where Daniel doesn't really have that great of a game, but Derrick Henry goes stupid. Oh, well, he has an off week last week versus the Broncos. I don't think he's going to have two off weeks in a row, and I think they pull off the upset versus the Packers. Um... They dropped two games in a row. I don't know if they dropped three. And I have them losing next week to the Bengals, which means they would be dropping four games in a row. And I just don't see that. Um, but nonetheless, it's an upset. Uh, they're not the better team necessarily. But I think I think they get the upset there. Um, that's been going into next week versus the Bengals. Um, another electric offense that they're not. It's like the Bengals. It's really going to be very similar to the Chiefs game. Except it might honestly be worse. Because. I don't know. It might be worse. Probably just because. The problem is. It's literally. Ex the Bengals are very similar to the Chiefs. Honestly. Very great offense. And a very unproven defense. And the defense last year was pretty bad for both of them. The playoff defense from the Bengals was very good. But the regular season was just not that great. It wasn't necessarily worse. Like statistically. They were, like, Chiefs were top 10 in defense. That's where you know the problem is, because they're not top 10 defense. Um, Matt Bims were just middle of the pack, 27th. And, like, the Chiefs, their defense is not that good. Don't let them lie. They're just good versus, the, what, the run? That's what it looks like. Nope, not very good versus the run. Wait. So, I guess you're good versus the pass, which, I mean, makes sense to an extent. But, God, I hate this. So why is their defense so good? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. They're bad versus the pass. Looks like they're not that great versus the run. So why the freak is their defense in top eight? I guess because there's points allowed because most of the time Mahomes has the ball. So that's why you look at stats because that Chiefs defense statistically, it's eighth ranked, but it's not that good. It, it, don't let the stats lie. Um, they may have a statistically good defense, but it's really not that good. It was very bad. Uh, it's where the Packers package defense is actually very good, very ranked. Oh. 13th. That defense was actually very good. And it was injured defense, too. And they were already, they were ranked 13th with an injured defense. Like. But, nonetheless. I think they pull off the upset. Anyway. Bengals. Um, it's going to be very similar to the Chiefs. Except they have a consistent run game. So, in the same way they lose to the Chiefs. They lose to the Bengals. That's really all I have to say. So, it's, it's going to be the exact same game. Uh, Derek Henry's going to go for stupid. I... Uh, Tannehill's going to have a good game, just not good enough game. And he's not going to be able to edge it out. Uh, we saw this game last year in the uh, divisional round, and uh, Tannehill choked the game away and threw four picks for, say, not a good uh, Bengals defense. But it was the playoff Bengals defense, so he definitely does not throw four interceptions to get. But versus the Eagles, um, I think the Eagles are going to be very good. Uh, very good. But I think here, I don't think they necessarily struggle here. I just think that, I think Tano has another good game, and I think he's finally able to edge it out versus the Eagles. I think he's able to edge it out here. It's going to be close. Uh, I don't think they necessarily can stop Hurts, but I think Hurts is perhaps a little inconsistent. He might struggle with inconsistency. Oh, we're going to see. But, um, I don't see, I don't know. I think uh, they face a very good stretch of teams. Like, they face the Chiefs, into the Broncos, into the Packers, into the Bengals, into the Eagles. They're not going to lose every game. That's my thing. Is they're not going to lose every game versus good teams. So, it's just a matter of which ones will they win. And I think the Eagles, and I think the Eagles specifically is one they can definitely manage. Um, just, I don't think necessarily, yeah, I, I do not think, the Bengals, uh, I don't think the Titans are really the better team here. Uh, I think they have a better quarterback. Well, yeah, I think they have a better quarterback. I think they have a better run game as a whole. They don't have a better running. Well, I don't know if they have a better run game as a whole. Well, no, as a whole, I think they have a better run game. Obviously, they have a better running back, but it hurts. So, that means probably the second best, second best running quarterback in the league behind Lamar, so, you know, that's what happens when you have a good running quarterback, it actually works out for you, um, yeah, and, I think, uh, the Titans pass rush is, I don't think it's that bad, but it's also not that good, it's just kind of one of those mid-pass rushes, where, and that night, She's gonna force uh, him out. Like he got Bud Dupree, who was actually very good out of the Steelers last year. Sucks. But anyway, he wasn't very good, but he was serviceable. Like he played pretty well. Like he came up in notable no moments. Like I remember multiple things. So he wasn't that bad, but he wasn't that great. But Jeffrey Simmons, it, that's gonna be good for you. He's gonna go crazy again. Not very good stats, but Jeffrey Simmons is very good. So, don't look at stats. I mean, I look at stats. Oh, I don't know how they... Okay, I yeah, never mind. I figured it out. I'm not retarded. Um, Danico Autry. I recognize that name. So, I think he's actually... No, I think this guy's actually good. Again, stats, nothing crazy. But... They kind of won a lot of games. Anyway, um... Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Anyway. No, no, go back. Um, But the pass rush might force uh, Hurts out, which could force him out of the pocket, which maybe can force him to make a couple bad decisions that he's not running, that he passes. They pass a little bit off. Bayard can make a play. Uh, Fulton can make a play. Somebody. Someone can make 
uh, hurts pay for making a bad, one bad decision. Uh, and as long as Tannehill plays safe and they run the ball, I think it should be okay. You just gotta watch Slay. You gotta watch the secondary as a whole, but I think that secondary is primarily just led by Slay. And that's really it. They play the Jags. Um, I, I already talked about the game on the Jags, but Harry, Henry's gonna go for a thousand yards. And it's gonna be uh, impossible to guard him versus the Jags. And there's and Tannehill is probably gonna have a good game again, just because there's no one really to cover. You have bad secondary play, so hooks out for you. Um, then you get the Chargers. Yeah, this schedule was hard. Kind of. I mean, they get like free, be like they have one. We'll call that a freebie. Two, three, four, five, six freebies. You say you just gotta win other games. I guess I guess just everyone's good this year. Not everyone. But a lot of people. Um, anyway, where's the Chargers? Um I think that the Chargers can probably win this game because I think Herbert's going to go for a lot of yards and they don't really have the ability to cover. I mean, like, their secondary is not bad. Like, the Titans' secondary isn't horrible. It's just kind of top-heavy, as in uh, Fulton and Bard. Bayard. Kevin Bayard. <laughs> His name's cool. Anyway. Uh, it's like those guys and then no one else. No one else on that team can cover. Um, but as long as they can play well, then it might not be a blowout. But I think nonetheless, I don't think Henry struggles here. But I think the right Chargers keep him in check. You know. Which actually, at this point, has the Titans. If it counts the... If it'll count the, the loss here. 9 and 7. But at this point, he's actually they're actually seven and seven because these games have not happened. I did not vote that. They're six and seven. Correction. Um, taking the two games away or the one game. No, they're seven and seven. That's right. They're seven and seven. Um, and they go into the Houston get kind of a freebie. Then they they have a must win versus the Cowboys. Well, the Cowboys are probably not in a must win scenario. Um. I think Deck is going to go crazy here, but I think that with the Cowboys' uh, O-line getting worse, they're going to have to block um, a decent pass rush from the Titans, which the Titans, as long as they can get pressure, you know, sack Deck a couple of times at least, uh, two, three times, I think it's going to be okay. Um, I want to look at that, like how good last year. Is that sacks? Can I look at that? I does not look like... Wait. No, I don't think I can literally look at that. Because it does not look like I can. Is sack 3 not a stat? Come on. Game. Why would games be... I guess because it's allowed. It's during the season. Is that actually not here? Interceptions are. Not sacks, though. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Come on, it's gotta be a stat somewhere. I wanna look at here it is. The Vikings had the second most sacks? I didn't know that. That's insane. Yeah, you see the Titans down here with you know one, two, three, the top ten. Yeah, it's literally tenth in terms of sacks, so that's what I was talking about. The Titans pass rush is not that bad. Um, while the Eagles is, <laughs> is, <laughs> it's crazy how all the bad teams are, you know, not getting the sacks. Falcons, Lions, Jags, Houston, Jets, Seattle, Giants. I don't think that's a coincidence. Then you got like the Saints here. And the you got the Bears way down here. And it's like, oh, well, never mind. But anyway. I got distracted again. 
Um, I think here, the Titans pass rush might actually expose the Lyle Collins being gone. Um, I think Dak maybe won't struggle, but he puts up, you know, maybe 300 yards, which isn't bad. Like 250, 300 yards. But I think Tannehill, I, I think it, as long as you don't make too many interceptions, like obviously there's Diggs there, but Diggs will not be matching what he did last year. I'm sorry, but he won't. Um... Uh, maybe yards. He might he might let up the same amount of yards. I wouldn't be too surprised. I'd be surprised, actually. I don't think he lets up as many yards. I think he fixes his coverage. It plays better coverage. But, in turn, he gets way less interceptions. Like, he might actually just get half the amount of interceptions. Which, what, he had 11 last year? So, let's like, say 6. If he gets 6 interceptions, that still might be. That might just lead the league. Doubt it. But it could. Um. But, yeah, I think, uh, here... The Titans kind of expose the the Cowboys here. And what I mean by expose, I don't mean like they get embarrassed. I think the game's close. Um, but I think the, the Titans might come up good here. Especially because this is a must-win game for them. And the Cowboys might not be in a must-win scenario. Even if they don't win division, their conference is pretty easy. I mean, you got Panthers, Falcons, Giants, Washington... Lions, Chicago, and Seattle. Those guys are not competing. It is. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are nine teams competing for a playoff spot. That's really it. While in the AFC, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, ten, eleven. Eleven teams. And if you want to count the Steelers, twelve. There's twelve teams competing. Like, there's not any freebie teams in the AFC, except, like, the Texans and the Jets. There's really the only freebies in the AFC. Well, in the NFC, you got the Falcons, the Panthers. Which, I mean, the Panthers' defense is good, so if you make too many mistakes, they got Baker, which is a service quarterback, so maybe not. Well, we're not going to say the Panthers are freebie. I just don't think they're really competing for a playoff spot. You got the Falcons, freebie, Giants, freebie. Chicago a freebie, Seattle. Each division has a freebie. Like, they're going to get formed in their division. But nonetheless. Um, so, the Cowboys might not be in a must-win scenario, while the Titans must probably are in a must-win scenario. So, in this instance, they go ahead and seal it out versus the Cowboys, and then they seal it out because it's, again, a must-win scenario. If they're going to play starters, then they're going to beat the Jags. Which puts them at the end of the season 10-7. and seven. Um, which is about what I expect, like at face value. I'm at ten and seven, eleven and six, somewhere around there. In terms of uh, the worst record they could have, they could lose. Let's see, what games do I have them winning in? They could they could get swept by the Colts. They might not beat the Packers. Like in this five game stretch, if they go 0 five, wrap it up. Their season's over. Even if in this four game stretch, if you don't count the Eagles, they if they lose every game, then it might just be out. Um, but I think this is about... They, they seal out the season 3-0. And in the season 10-7. and uh, And compete for the division. I don't know if they win the division. Because well, we're about to find out if they win the division. Like, they do well. Basically, they have a couple of good games versus good teams. And they farm kind of the bad teams, you know. Like, 4-7 versus winning. And then 6-0 versus losing. They farm the bad teams. And they would just pull out a couple wins versus the good teams. So. But nonetheless, uh, here comes the Colts. If I can ever get to the Colts. Um, that is the Ravens. That is not the Colts. This is uh, still the Ravens. This is not the Colts. Here's the Colts. Here's the Colts. Week 1 versus Texans. I think they farm them. I already talked about it versus the Texans. Week 2 versus the Jags. I think they farm them. I already talked about it. Week 3 versus the Chiefs. Uh, I think that's a tough one. Do I pull... Wait, no. I think they get upset week 2. I don't think they farm the Jaguars. Because I forgot that this is at home versus the Jaguars. It's Jaguars at home. Yeah, they're, they're going to lose because it's the Jaguars at home. 
Hopefully they win because they should win. They're the better team, but it's the Jaguars at home. They haven't won since 2014. I'm going to take them until they prove that they could win. Um, Week three versus the Chiefs. I think that's a hard one to win. Yeah, I think that's a really hard one to win. Yeah, I think that's a hard one to win, actually. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think they can maybe force Mahomes to make a couple bad throws, and then uh, Gilmore and Moore can, you know, come up with the ball. Um, but I don't know that they can do it consistently enough because Mahomes clutch time. I think Mahomes will probably be more clutch than Matt Ryan. Um, and I think they have a more dominant receiving core just because the Colts are pretty unproven. Michael Pittman is still proving that he's like a wide receiver one. Um, and Alec Pierce is a rookie. We're not really sure how good he is. I think he's going to be very good, but probably not some crazy wide receiver too. He might put up like 700, 800 yards, pretty serviceable numbers, but nonetheless, I think they're really going to struggle here versus the Chiefs. I don't know if they can match the Chiefs offensive power quite enough. This game, good matchup. I think they traded with the Titans. I already talked about that. They don't have a bye week until week 14. That's crazy. Um, yeah, but I think here, I, I think they just trade with the Titans 1-1. That's really it. As I have them winning at home. I don't know if they will, but I, I'm pretty sure they trade with the Titans, whether it be a home or away. Like, I think they're very evenly matched. Um, they probably have a little bit more electric offense, but the D uh, Colts defense is probably way better. Than the Titans. So. Where's the Broncos? Um, I, uh, I don't know. It seems like a hard one. Especially at home. I think the struggle here is that... Um, their levels, the level play that the Broncos kind of have, where one's in the slot, one's going deep, and one's going to the, everywhere else, is going to be tough to play because they have actually a good slot corner uh, in more. Like, they actually have a good slot corner. So, it kind of, it's a good matchup for the Colts that they could honestly play. Could they win? Can they win? And the, I don't know how good this Broncos run defense is going to be this year. Like last year, I'm pretty sure it was pretty damn good. But they lost um, that guy to the Seahawks in the trade. Freak, I forgot who it was. I think it started with an N. Shelby Harris. I it was not starting with an end, but nonetheless, I figured out who it was. Um, so yeah, I lost him, but I think the defense is gonna be fine. Really, I don't think it's too concerning. Uh, I think the offense is gonna be pretty consistent. I mean, last year they were what? Where at? In terms of yards a game, they were in the middle of the pack. With Carson wins. They were not even middle of the pack. They were top half. Top half. Well, it's like middle of the pack. Yeah, it's like the middle of the pack. But that's what Carson wins. So they have Matt Ryan. So now they got Matt Ryan. Um, I think it works out well. And here, I think this. I think this is very an upsettable game because I think the Colts are probably not favored here. But in terms of just matchup, it might actually work out for the Colts. They have a good slot corner, and that's going to be really annoying, actually. I think that's a good matchup for the Colts, and they can probably play into that matchup. Probably my upset pick of the season. Um, strictly because, I think, uh, by matchup, and I think they have a pretty good... Um, what's it called? I think their defense is good, and while I don't think Russ plays necessarily bad versus bad defense, good defenses, um, I think it's gonna be 
harder because it's not like they have to put up, you know, 30 points here. Well, they might have to versus the Chiefs. They don't have to put up 30 points versus the Broncos. Not quite. Just because the Chiefs are more electric than the, uh, the Russ led Broncos. I think the Broncos are like on face value contenders, but they're playing in a hard division. They really could just miss the playoffs. I think they could be a contender, but they could also just miss the playoffs, which is crazy to say, but um I think it's a hard hard matchup. This is probably a very good matchup. It's also Thursday night. So, which makes sense given that you know, it's a crazy matchup. Uh it's going to be a very good game. Um, Matt Ryan versus Russ. Two quarterbacks that gotta prove they still got it. Which I mean, I th I don't think I don't know how many people are questioning Russ, but people are definitely questioning Matt Ryan. So we'll see here. Um, I think they destroy the Jaguars at home. I think they already trade with I think they trade with the Titans. I talked about that already. Washington Colts. I'm pretty sure, okay, it is Wentz versus an old team, but it's also Wentz versus a pretty solid pass rush with good corners play, which doesn't normally end well for Wentz, I'm going to say. Does not normally end well for Wentz playing against good corners and people. A good, uh, for, he, they're going to force him to make bad decisions, and he's going to make bad decisions, and then he's going to look embarrassed. Um, and they have the Patriots. I think uh, the Patriots' offense is going to really struggle here, and all Matt Ryan has to do, or heck, all Jonathan Taylor has to do, is run for you know 100 yards or so. And I think it's going to be really hard for the Patriots to keep up with their offense. Um, I think it's two offenses that maybe aren't top of the ranks, but Colts are going to be up there, probably top top 12 ish. Top 12-ish seems pretty reasonable. Um, well, the Patriots might be on the lower end. So, I, I think the offense is better. I think the defense is better. That's really all I got to say. Um, and he's going to struggle to slow it. He's going to struggle to slow short because Kenny Moore. So, here we are. Colts Raiders. Uh, I think it's going to be, as I've said every time that the Raiders come up, I think it's going to be really hard to keep up with... Tay, Renfro, and Waller. Um, I think it's going to be really hard. But that's versus that's like with every team. Like, I don't know if they can keep up. Um, I don't know if any team can keep up with that. So, sad. Sorry, you see my OBS. It's at 142. So we'll be done within two hours, I think. Maybe. It'll be right at two hours. Um, I don't know that the Colts can quite keep up. With the Raiders, I think the Raiders' defense is inconsistent. Actually, I think it's bad. I think the Raiders' defense is outright bad. Okay, let me think. This was also a good matchup. It's that afternoon, so. Um. Because this one's tough, right? Because I think the Colts have a better defense by kind of a good margin. I think their offense is obviously worse, though. But I think as long as the Colts' defense does not get destroyed and gets allows, like, 35 points, 30 points, then I think the Colts can keep up. So I think it's going to be close. And honestly, I think the Colts' defense can keep up the Raiders in check better than most defenses can. Um, I don't think the Colts are necessarily, I don't know if the Colts are the better team, but I think this is a matchup where the defense is bad from the Raiders, and that's really going to help the Colts. I think, I think this would be really tough then, because the Raiders' defense is just not that good, and the O-line's good. So, like, the, you have the very good pass rush from Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, except that's not really going to be the most concerning thing with the Colts' very good O-line. It's still going to be a noticeable thing, but it's not as bad as in most matchups where Mac, they don't have the, the greatest O-line. They might actually just have the best O-line in the league. Definitely top five O-lines, which works out here. So uh, I think the Colts maybe pull up the upset if it's considered an upset, and they can do it. 
and then I think they go off the hot streak and lose to the Eagles. Um, well, okay, hold on. I didn't actually think about that matchup at all. I think they can lose to the Eagles just because... Yeah, yeah, I think they lose to the Eagles. Um, Because I think they just came off a tough week versus the Raiders. They did beat the Raiders, but I think it's going to be hard to beat the Eagles when they... The Eagles are very good. Like, the Eagles are very good. Um, and... I think it's going to be hard to stop that rushing attack. And Traylon Burks... Uh, not Traylon Burks. Um, AJ Brown is who I meant. Wrong, wrong guy. Titan the guy. I guess if you want to talk like that. Um, AJ Brown with Devontae Smith. I think it's going to be tough for the Colts to guard. Um, obviously, you got the guys for it. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh cover them fine just they'll just run the ball then and i think that dual threat capability of hurts is really going to show here and it's really going to work out in his favor um and then i think they get upset by the steelers uh, i don't think they're a much better team and i think i don't think they're like too much of a better team i think they are a better team but i don't know if it's too much better you know um and i think here Pick it, assuming it's pick it, even Mitch Trubisky though. Uh, they're gonna whichever one is gonna be settled in at this point. They're gonna know what they're doing, nonetheless. Uh, there's a lot of receivers to cover. You got Claypool, Pickens, Austin, a good tight end, Fryermuth, ja Johnson. It's gonna be tough for the Colts to cover everybody. Very good receivers, but maybe inconsistent quarterback play. So they can maybe come up with a turnover or two, but I don't know if that's enough because the Steelers might also come up with a turnover. Eh, probably not. They've bad quarterback play, but nonetheless, I think uh, one mistake is allowed. While in a lot of matchups versus these top offenses, it may not be allowed, but I think with the Steelers' defense, I, they improved run defense, so Jonathan Taylor's not going to go for 2,000 yards like he might have last year. They upset him two years ago, or they beat him two years ago, but two years ago was a much different situation. But Nonetheless, um... I think here this, they get upset by the Steelers after losing to the uh, Eagles. And they come back versus the uh, Cowboys at home. Another good matchup. Um, oh, yeah, and Najee is going to be good here. Just as, as a receiving threat, even more so than... A uh, run threat, uh, and it's like the improved old line's gonna help from the Steelers. They're not gonna get destroyed like they might have last year. Like I think last year, well, I think Matt last year's probably close too. But nonetheless, I mean, one team made the playoffs, one didn't. So like, I don't know. But either way, um, then we get into the Cowboys game. And I think this one's going to be a banger game. Um, probably. I think uh, Dak is going to go for a lot here. Not necessarily because the Colts have a bad defense, but I think it's just kind of a prime game where they're they're off. They lost two weeks in a row. Um, they're about to have their bye week. They're ready for the bye week. So then... Yeah, I think they dropped the game. Maybe. Okay, do they drop the game? It's at home in Dallas. I think uh, the pass rush might really be good here from the Colts. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be quite good enough considering the Cowboys still have very good receivers in Gallup and uh, CD. And I don't know who their receiver three is, honestly. I don't actually know who the receiver three is. James Washington, I forgot he went there. He was actually a very good receiver, ironically enough. I know he doesn't have the numbers for it, but on the Steelers, they should have utilized him. Now he's gone. I don't really care. But um, I think having multiple guys to throw to is really going to show here. But it's going to be a very good defense uh, in the run game. Uh, Pollard being, isn't he a solid receiving back? I've seen him receive balls. That sounds oddly sexual. Um, 
anyway, uh, he's a pretty good receiving threat. Uh, <laughs> uh, and as a pure runner, you still got Zeke. Like, I think it's going to be... The ability to mix up what they're doing is going to come across as a tough one for this Colts uh, defense. And the offense, I don't know if it can quite keep up with a pretty decent secondary from the Cowboys. Fucked ton of turnovers last year. And I think Diggs is going to clean his shit up and be able to actually seal it out first, right at, right before the Colts bye week. When's the, especially if the Cowboys have the bye week. I don't know when the Cowboys bye week is, though. We'll check. We will we will check. Hold on, I will be checking the the second it loads. Oh, nope, the page. This page did this a lot. It's not. It's really just this page too. But anyway, uh, they come off the bye week. It'll load. It'll yeah. There it is. Their week bye week's on week nine. That's all I need. That's all I needed to know. Don't care anymore. Um, Colts. Um. They come, they come out of the bye week facing the Vikings. I think they seal it out after the bye week. I think, uh, first off, they're just a better team. Um, but, free. Save me to the Colts. Save me to the Colts. Come on. I'm really trying right about now. Yeah, uh, hold on, there we go. Got to the Colts. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, I think they clear it out after the bye week. After losing three games in a row and having the bye week, I think their bounce back game is here. Um, well, I do have them beating the Giants, but I did not mean to click that. For sure. Um, they're coming out of the bye week fresh. Uh, they're not going to lose four games in a row, I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to drop four games in a row. Like, they've played two good teams. They got upset by the Steelers. I think that's fine. Well, it might not be fine, because I think they're about to go 10-7. and seven, is what it's looking like. Or 9-8. and eight. Wait. Did I have them going 9-8? and eight? Let me think. Let me think. I, I think they beat... The, I definitely, they think they definitely beat the, the Vikings here. Um, and then they get the Chargers, which is a tough draw. Because I don't think they got... Can they upset the Chargers? I don't know that they can upset the Chargers. I don't think they're quite good enough to do that. Because I think... Oh my god. Whatever. Um. What's not loading? Oh wait, no, that's right, that's right. Um... They beat the Vikings in the bye week just because they've dropped three games in a row. And they're not going to drop a fourth one. It's like coming out of the bye week. The Vikings are probably the better team. The better defense, too, definitely. The Vikings defense is pretty bad, so it's going to get abused here. Next, um, the Chargers game. I was just sealing that out because it's being slow. Um, Chargers, I think it's going to be really tough to beat the Chargers just because Herbert is crazy. But... <sighs> The Colts are in a must-win scenario, though. Well, I doubt the Chargers are coming into Week 16. I doubt they are. So I think the Colts are going to be playing with a little bit more heart, a little bit more knowing that their season's on the line. It's going to be at home. They haven't won a home game since Week 8. I think this is where they do it. They win a home game versus the Chargers in upset fashion. It's Monday Night Football. They put on a show, but I think Jonathan Taylor goes crazy, even though you got the new guys on the line. Otherwise, it's really bad Chargers defense. I don't think Cleo Mack can carry this defense where, where uh, the Chargers had a really bad defense as a whole last year. I think J.C. Jackson makes this pass defense better, but I think there's only so much. One guy can only do so much on the line when there's, you know, seven guys on the line. And there's four guys in the backfield, you know. Uh, so one guy being in the backfield changes a lot. Wow, one guy being on the line, yeah, it only does so much. Um, I think Jonathan Taylor goes has a good game, even though they have a better run defense. I think, uh, I think Gilmore shows that he still got it versus Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I think Mike Williams can be guarded by Kenny Moore. I think, I think they got the pieces to win it. And I think they're in a must-win scenario to start gonna win the game. Um, and they beat the Giants because they're. 
better team, and they beat the te te Texans because they're a better team. Um. So yeah, they seal it with the season with four wins. Um. Which puts them at ten and seven as well, tied with the Titans. But the Titans have the better division record, so they go. So unless. I don't think 10 and 7 is good enough, maybe, to make the playoffs. I don't think so. But we shall see. I'm pretty certain that it's not, though. Um. The Ravens and Colts? No, they didn't play. So, wait, why are the Ravens ahead of the Colts? I thought it went division record matters. Oh, common percent. Oh, so as in, oh, so that's why they're favored because Indy lost to Pittsburgh, and but Indy also beat Denver. Well, di they lost. Wait, I don't know. Whatever. I think they're. I think they're right. <laughs> um, I think the Colts could honestly win more games than this, but they could also lose more games like this. I like. I don't know that they beat the Chargers here. I don't know that they beat. Um, where's that? I don't know that they beat the Broncos. Uh, I also don't know that they, they could beat the Chiefs. Like, I have them winning a lot of games, but I also have them losing a couple of games. And I don't know that they lose at home versus the Jaguars. Honestly, they could, they should win this game. And I think that they're a better team. But, I think they actively lose at the Jaguars at home for some reason. And, if that changes, uh, it's gonna matter. Um... So it's a tough break. The Colts probably missed the playoffs. I'm imagining that's not it, especially because, if anything, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be good enough at all. I don't think, I don't think ten and seven is good enough if you're not winning the division. And unfortunately, I don't have the winning the division. I think this one's tougher to predict because I'm not a hundred percent certain how good the Colts are gonna be. I'm not a hundred percent certain. Like, they have a lot of games that could honestly go either way. And, they, like, they might not lose to the Steelers. They might not lose to the Eagles. They might not lose to the Raiders. But they also might not beat the Broncos. The, why? They also might not beat the Chargers. So, like, even if they win, like, even if they win these two games, they could also just lose this one. They could also just lose this one. You know, it's, they're, they're ten, it's still 10-7. and seven. So, I'm not sure. They also might not lose to the Cowboys. Wait, I thought I picked the Colts here. No, 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 I picked the Cowboys. That's right. That's right. Um. Wait. No, 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 no that's right, that's right. Because uh, I had Diggs covering better than last year. Um. So, yeah, Colts go 10-7. and 7. I'm not 100% certain on the Colts, but I think the other ones are pretty reasonable. Texans, just a lack of talent really kills them here. They, I don't know where they win games at. I don't. Uh, Jags, they got pieces, but they're not elite pieces. So it's only going to help them so much. They improve, but not improving to a, you know, a 500 record. Um, Colts still have a good record, but they still can't get over that hump. Uh, obviously, they got Ryan. They got Gilmore. But I think their schedule is hard. Um... Just because I think they play a lot of good teams. Like, they play the Titans twice. They play the Chiefs. They play the Broncos. They play the Chargers. They play the Raiders. They play the Eagles. You know, the Vikings, if you want to call them a good team. Like, it, they play a lot of good teams. And I don't know that they can match them. Uh, we'll see if Matt Ryan ends up going to, like, 2015 form. Yeah. But if Matt Ryan is not literally i think he has to be elite for them to make the playoffs because otherwise this offense will not be matching with the chiefs this offense will not be matching with um the raiders it will not be matching with the eagles it will not be matching with the the dallas and uh, if it's not then they probably can lose with uh the chargers game because they're not matching that offense they could just lose to the broncos because they're not matching them like if if matt ryan is Matt Ryan has to be elite, and I think if Matt Ryan ends up being, like, even top 10, changes and sets himself as a top 10 quarterback, fine. I think they can make the playoffs. But Matt Ryan, as he was last year, 
I think it was his lack of talent thing, but we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. Um, it's tough break for the Colts because they're a really good team, but I think the Titans end up with kind of an easier break. Like, I think their schedule ends up being kind of easier because they don't have to upset as many teams. Like, they can beat the Jaguars twice. They're not known for losing to the Jaguars. <laughs> like, they go 5-1 and one in division, which means... And they got other free games versus the Giants. They get a freebie versus Washington, if you want to call that a freebie. Uh, they get a freebie versus... Uh, um, 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 uh, yep. Uh, nowhere. They don't really have any freebies. <laughs> but... Um, like, look at this. They play 4-7 and seven versus winning. Which, granted, not everyone's going to stay winning. Like, but... I mean, I have them losing to the Bills. I'm losing to the Raiders. I don't know. I think it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I mean, it really comes down to if the Colts can seal out games. And, like, if they can seal it out versus the Jaguars, then fine. I, I, the moment they beat the Jaguars at home, then I have them in the playoffs. Honestly. Um... But until they prove that they can seal it out at home versus the Jaguars, I'm going to take the Jaguars. And, you know, they're going to miss the playoffs. If they win here, they'll take the division from the Titans and they'll be okay. But if they don't win... Okay, let me think about this, though. They've, they have to win eventually, right? They've got to win eventually. And this is the best quarterback they've had for a while. Their defense got better. I don't know how they lose that game. They don't have a quarterback that may You know what? I'm going to change my pick. I, I don't see them losing, okay? I don't see them losing to the fucking Jaguars. I understand that they really struggle versus the Jaguars, but I, I don't know how they lose. They're just the better team in every way, shape, and form. They have the better quarterback. They have the better role. They have a better... Do they have a better receiving core? Fuck it. They got a better receive. I don't think they have a better receiving core, actually. The defense is just... I think their defense is too much better than the Jaguars. I do. I think... Yeah. I, I, I think they're too good. I think their defense is too good to actually lose to the Jaguars. Let's push them in the fourth versus the Titans. Over the Titans. And the Titans missed the playoffs. Even going 5-1 division, not quite good enough. I, I just don't see... I don't see, um, <sighs> they have beaten them since 24, it's been eight years, but I, I they can't, they have to win eventually, right? They gotta win eventually, and this, if, if there's any year to win, it's this year. And I think they're gonna finally do eat the Jaguars at home, especially when it's week two, it's early on. I, I think you're gonna win, I think you're gonna win. Which puts the Jags at uh, five and twelve, and uh, puts the Colts in lead, winning the division at eleven and six, making the playoffs. Um, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Um, they're probably gonna play one of the AFC West teams, which means they might get fucked up. Cause all these AFC West teams, very good teams. <laughs> it's crazy because I have the Raiders at six and zero currently. It's just because, like, the teams they play outside of that don't really have elite quarterback play. Like, there, no elite corner, no elite corner, no elite corner, no elite corner, no elite corner. Here, they have Gilmore. Who might be elite, might not be. No one really knows. And either way, you got so many offensive pieces. I think the only problem is when they're going to play a better offense. Like, week one versus the Chargers, they might drop that. I'm not, It's not a prediction, but... You know, they might drop versus the Chargers. They're playing another lead offense here. They're playing another lead offense here. They're playing probably a good offense here. Another guy played them twice. He played the Rams. Like, I just don't... I, I Like, obviously their conference game works out. Or outside of conference game. But when they play in these on in conference games versus better defense... Because, like, every, every, every team here has a... Okay, well, I was going to say every team had a better defense. But I think... I think they probably have a better defense than the Chiefs. Just because the Chiefs is, like, kind of bad. But, I don't know. We'll feel do with them when I go with the AFC West. But, AFC uh, East, South, 
AFC South, not the East. Um, playing the AFC South. Colts win the division. Go 5-1. and one. Titans make second. 10-7, uh, and 5-1. and one. Probably not good enough for playoffs. Especially because Miami is 11-6 and six and might miss the playoffs himself. Depending on how good the uh, AFC West does. I haven't looked at their schedules. It's going to be tough. Um, AFC is loaded this year. Jaguars going 5-12 and 12 in improvement, but not quite good enough. 2-4 um, in division. Uh, sweeping Titans. Texans, I mean sweeping the Texans, right? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, and then the Titans winning two games because uh, they have little to no talent on that roster. They got Brandon Cooks. And they got uh, Schultz. Wait, not Schultz. Um, Brandon Scherf. Brandon Scherf. They got Scherf. Uh, it's literally their talent is Brandon Scherf, or Brandon Cooks, <laughs> and yeah, that's about where it ends. Like actually, so uh, but that's it. Um, AFC West is next. We shall see uh, how this, this playoffs ends up ending out for the AFC. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be close. Close race. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys uh, with the AFC West whenever that comes out. No idea when, but you'll guys see it whenever it does.